Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's play. Hmm. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> I'd say that's lucky. This part of the deep We're back where we familiar. started. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? We could take a break. Uh, I feel wrong. Carver. You okay there, Carver? Let's make camp if you're sick. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. Uh oh. No. It's Carver. Oh no, Carver. It's the blight. Oh. I can sense it. Oh, that sucks. Just like that Templar, Wesley. I'll be just as dead. Just as gone. I don't want him to die. That would suck. Because then I'd have to hear it from my mother again. Oh, poor Carver's dead. <laughs> okay. Serious note. Serious note. That's just like you. Keeping this to yourself. I thought it was nothing. Hoped, anyway. Idiot. I'm not going to make it. Not to the surface. Not anywhere. It's getting worse. There might be something we can do. I stole the maps from a warden that had come to Kirkwall. I wanted to know if he was looking for me. He wasn't. The maps were for planning their own expedition into the deep roads. Never have I been so happy to have Anders in my party than I am right now. Does that mean the Grey Wardens are here? If the Wardens are here, I know where. We could bring Carver to them. And what? Become a Grey Warden. Better than dying. Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, I suppose it is. But it's not without a price. One not everyone is willing to pay. Is this even possible? How does someone become a Grey Warden? I can't tell you. But it's not something you can undo once it's done. Even if you want to. This just keeps sounding better and better. <laughs> They might agree to it, however. That's if we can find them in time. If there's even a chance, we must take it. Then I hope I'm right. You better be right, Anders, or I'll be so mad. Hmm. What's wrong? I think they're nearby. Or it could be Darkspawn. Apparently it's Darkspawn. Oh, I love it because I keep stun locking them. They can't even approach us. Look at that. They're trying. They're trying so hard. Beautiful. Ooh, an emissary. You're going down, emissary. Anders. Fancy meeting you here, Stroud. I could say the same. Aren't you supposed to be dead? That's the rumor. But I didn't come here to swap stories with you. You mean the boy as a recruit? Of course you do. I'm sorry. I know this comes as no comfort to you, but... We do not recruit Grey Wardens out of pity. It is no kindness. You're a jerk. You're a big fat jerk. You think it's kinder to let Carver die from the blight? Sometimes it is. Yes. Stroud, trust me when I say this one is worth your time. 
With the blight over, you wardens don't have recruits lining up. This is no simple thing, Anders. This may be as much a death sentence as the sickness, and you know it. He'll die anyway. Take him and try. I'm asking you. If the boy comes, he comes now, and you may not see him again. Being a Grey Warden is not a cure. It is a calling. Are you sure about this? I'm not sure about anything, but I want you to live. We must move quickly if we are to make the surface in time. Then, I guess this is it. What? Take care of Mother. That was better than him dying, I guess. Home, sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartran came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. This is true. I'm sorry about what happened to your brother. He'll make it. Carver's stronger than he thinks. I should have seen Bartran's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to, uh, tell the family. I don't have much choice. You'll be a wealthy woman, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. I don't care about money. I want my brother back. Oh, my baby! You made it home! Carver is with you? No. Is he... coming back? I... don't know. <gasps> oh god, Mom! <laughs> oh. He's not dead. So the champion's brother was a Grey Warden? Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the Champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world, literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Carver survived. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. Oh, Carver. You're supposed to come back. Be a warden. Oh well, better him a warden than dead, right?
compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirk Wall, Sarah Hawk? Hmm. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Hmm. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. Good for him. Let's help. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. I it's heading for a fall. I know it is. Alright, anyway, I've got to cut the video off here, and when we come back, more Dragon Age 2. Thanks for watching, guys.